Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Lion Loss, and Wolves of Daisy for making this video possible. Daisy 1.19 is soon to be released, and there is a lot of scattered info out there as to what this update actually contains. So, in this video, I'm going to summarize everything that we know so far about Daisy 1.19, along with the likely location of where the new Livonian military base will be, and where at least one bunker will be, too, and what I believe will be inside that bunker. Mm. Starting with a new weapon we're very likely to be seeing in this patch, the SV-82 sniper rifle. This bolt action sniper rifle fires the 545 by 39 rounds, which are the same ones for the AK-74, which do low damage compared to other high-powered weapons in the game. So unless we see a damage boost for these rounds, it's likely that this will be one of the worst snipers. However, it may come with a fixed times 4 scope as standard, which may be the same reticle as a PU scope we already have in the game. This sniper will work very much like the Pioneer does with its 5 round magazine and will likely spawn in the same locations too. Livonia appears to be the focal point for this update when it comes to content, bringing many map changes and therefore a base wipe on all Livonian servers, but characters will not be wiped. The aim of these changes is to create a more diverse and interesting map that plays similar to how Chernarus plays with its loot progression, adding more loot locations and fleshing out the desperately empty southern part of the Livonian map. The additions that we know we're going to see are the apartment blocks at Tarnuf, which actually spawn loot unlike the ones on Chernarus, so who knows the ones on Chernarus might spawn loot in this update. Several summer camps are going to be added, just like on Chernarus. Several quarry areas, including a huge new quarry area that's going to be bigger than any quarry that we've seen so far, which will spawn plastic explosives. And finally, lunar camps will be dotted around the map, just like Chernarus too. They'll also be making many more areas of the huge southern forest area much more interesting with loads of hunting locations and clearings where sawmills and new industrial objects will be, such as these monstrous yellow dump truck vehicles that put American cars to shame. My guess is that the south part of the map will be dotted with quarries, sawmills and unique hunting locations to make it a lot more interesting and inclusive of loot progression, something that Livonia has been lacking, with the cherry on top being the new military base in the south. This new military base has been confirmed for Livonia in 1.19 and as of this 1.19 teaser video, so has at least one bunker. This new teaser video revealed the date experimental 1.19 releases, but it also accidentally revealed the location of the bunker too. At the very start of the teaser, there is an overlay which, when sharpened up, reveals it to be some sort of camera tool with command tooltips down on the bottom right here and a menu over to the left for recording, I'm guessing, daisy trailers and these teasers. Luckily for us, this camera tool shows the coordinates in the top right hand corner of where the camera is positioned, which is 736 by 591 on Livonia, teleporting me to this unused but interesting corner of the map down here. It's interesting because no less than 50 meters away is this perfectly flat path that leads from this concrete road up here near Dambog down to this dirt road over here. The same dirt road texture that's used on the teaser military base image that we see here, which just so happens to look very similar to this part of the path. Again, no less than 50 meters from the coordinates that I got teleported to. Now if I were a betting man, I would bet that this down here would be where the bunker is because that's where I got teleported to and the possible location of the new military base is going to be up here somewhere. It's widely believed that all gas attacks were an attempt to suppress the spread of the infection and the source of those attacks are connected to this location teased in the 1.14 update, which is the update that gave us the gas zone. This location with the screens could be inside the new bunker that we're going to get in 1.19, which is where all the gas attacks are being controlled from, like some sort of forward operating base that gathers intel using old Soviet equipment and relays coordinates for the attacks. I believe it's inside the bunker because the red flashing light seen here in this teaser is very similar to the red flashing light that we see here in the old 1.14 teaser and a silhouette of Hannah can be seen in both of these. Now if we combine this with the punch card teaser we got recently which are basically programmable pieces of paper for old computers such as old Soviet equipment, we may be able to launch gas attacks on towns ourselves using these cards or a variation of them with the inhabitants of that town getting a warning on the speaker system found in the town that the gas attack is about to happen. Or at least that is what I'm hoping for because that would connect all of the dots of all of the teasers that we've seen so far for 1.19. Let me know your theory in the comments if you do have one. What isn't a theory though is that there will be a revamped vehicle simulation engine coming to DayZ which will transform how vehicles work to nerf their rocket ship stat to zero and make them much less lamau. 
A new vehicle may get released with this update too in the form of a teased Humvee in the same trailer and the Skull backpack has been seen in this teaser too. We've also seen a black plate carrier and an eye patch, perhaps indicating a new medical mechanic to do with our vision but at the very least we can now roleplay as pirates. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in 1.19.